Hey baby, where you there with? Hello, this is Heavy T of Heavy T and Big R of Real Music Reviews on YouTube.com. This week's music was very, very good, I have to say. It was not as good as last week's, but it was good this week because we have a featured artist like Lloyd, who's a nice, hot R&B artist right now, currently signed with Motown Universal Records. But I'm going to discuss more about him later. He is the CD of this week, though. I'm going to jump into Randy Newman right now. His CD is called Hearts and Angels. He's currently signed to None Such Records. It's a soft, mellow rock CD that's going to get you in the mood to study if you're in your dorm or your college dorm or you're just getting ready for that final examination of midterm. I definitely get that CD a three and a, three and a half out of five stars max. Very mellow CD, nice vibe to it. Uh, James Johnson is the next CD I'm going to discuss. It's country to the core. If you are a hilly, hillbilly out there in the country or down south, you would definitely love this song, This song, which is called In Color, which is also the single of the week on iTunes. A lot of people have downloaded this single and is loving it. I give this CD a definite 3 out of 5 stars. Max, the CD is good, has very good potential to sell platinum or multi-platinum status on the BMI tracks. The next thing I'm going to talk about is The Fame. The Fame is a pop rockish alternative band that comes from Omaha, Nebraska. The CD is called Fascination. They're currently signed to Saddle Creek Records. I give the CD a definite two and a half out of five stars. Alternative band that is going to get you that alternative vibe in the club or in any kind of club setting that you need, especially if you're a rockhead, you're definitely going to like this. Lloyd, the single of the week, people. CD is called Lessons in Love. It's a four and a half out of five CD. The CD is phenomenal, people. Please go get this CD. It's undeniably the best CD for this week. It gives you that metal, subtle love. Gives you one of the little bedroom track, R. Kelly-ish type stuff in the bedroom called one song is called love making 101 and if you know what it means it means the introduction to how to please a woman correctly this cd is off the charts true r&b at its finest this week this cd is going to get you prepared for neo cd which is called year of the gentleman gonna gonna get you that good vibe people go out there go to second city best buy itunes download that immediately another hot artist i want to bring you that is underground is called Key Anthony. Key Anthony CD, excuse me, is a hustler's story. This CD is currently came out in 05, but he's done it again and he added more tracks to it. And then now it's hot. This CD is off the charts. His voice reminds you of Tank or Jamie Foxx. Definitely hot tracks, all of them. Good R&B CD, love it. It gives you that vibe. It's a strike of life. He talks about struggling, about how he struggled where his life was and how, how he's living a good life, not selling drugs, not hanging around that, that bad crowd, leaving those fake friends alone and moving on to a good, good spirited life. I definitely give this CD a three and a half out of five stars. It's hot to death. My singles for this week, which I'm going to elaborate on a little bit on, on our underground artists, uh, segment is The Game and Lil Wayne, three out of five stars. Lil Wayne shows you that T-Pain-ish type voice on his CD. Um, it's definitely, the song is called My Life. Pretty Ricky. This song to me is horrible. Horrible at best. I will not give this CD more than two and a half stars. You need pleasure. Wherever pleasure is right now, you need him back now, Pretty Ricky, you are not going to sell more than gold on this CD without pleasure. I'm sorry. The new dude, no offense, we are friends on YouTube. If you delete us as friends, hey, that's your best bet. But I'm going to tell you right now, this song was not all that. Knocking boots, I wanted to knock the boots off my computer. It was just not good at all. Sorry. Moving along, though. Raphael Sadiq. Love that girl. It's four and a half out of five stars. Excellent, excellent, excellent CD. 
single of the week. That is my single for this week, Raphael Sadiq. If you see that on iTunes, on the computer, please get that as soon as possible. I want to also get on Karina Passion, First Love. Her new song is hot, hot. Please get that immediately. I'm trying to hurry up and wrap this up. Cassie has a new song called Official Girl. It's not official at all. Uh, she's an unofficial girl. Her voice is very unmellowish. It's not hot to me at all. But God bless y'all. I'll see y'all next week. I tried to make this as short as possible. See y'all next week. And Jasmine Sullivan, please go get her. Support this girl to the fullest. Great, great sound on her voice. Very alto-ish. Nice song. See y'all next week. Bye. What's up? This your boy Big R back with the Real Music Reviews for this week, August 5th, 2008. First up, uh, I would like to just mention Lloyd right now with his new album Lessons in Love. He's on Motown slash Universal Records. His previous albums include Southside and Street Love, which were surprisingly good. They kind of flopped a little bit, I know, but... Um, Street Love was especially good, you know, I don't know if many of you heard it, but that was his last album that came out, so the question is, how does his last album, uh, this album, compare to his last albums? Well, I must say, despite the lack of improvement in his voice quality, uh, this album was really what, like, it, it was a really good album, and I feel like Usher could even have taken some notes from Lloyd this time around, because I know it's a bold statement, but... I say that because Lloyd shows progression in his albums. Southside was about that high school spring fling puppy love and learning life lessons from the streets. And Street Love was like, uh, I'm not a child anymore. I'm looking for, you know, substance besides, you know, that cute face. And I'm, I'm not just here to hit it and quit it. You know, I'm, I'm here to see how things really work in the real world with grown, you know, grown adults. And then you, he then he came out with Lessons in Love, this new album that just released. And it's like, you know, I've experienced and the good, the bad, and the ugly of love. And now, let me just break it down for you and give it to you how I feel it, you know, how I feel it goes. And he does it in a, in a nice and easy way. And the album is, you know, it's funky, it has swagger, substance. Uh, it's very grown man, but still vibrant and fun. So I give him, his, I give his album a four out of five, and um, that's in stores now. Circuit City has the exclusive track on it. If you want to, you know, get that exclusiveness. Next, I have Hawthorne Heights. Um, they're a rock group. Well, I'll get into that. But um, their album is called Fragile Future, and they're on Victory Records. They're um, basically like an alternate, uh, alternative punk rock group, and they're back. But um, I'm afraid it does not compare to their first album, Sadly, um, which was titled If Only You Were Lonely. They have a nice theme to the album, this new album, but there's nothing that stands out on this album that makes it buzzworthy. So unfortunately, I have to give them a two and a half out of five. It's all love, though. Like, you know, please go cop their first album. Cop this album if you really, really want to, but... I'm letting you know right now, it's nothing to be wowed about. Moving on to my last artist of uh, group of the day, Nappy Roots. You know I'm a hip-hop junkie, I'm a hip-hop head, I love hip-hop, and these are hip-hop artists. Their new CD is called Humdinger, and they're on, the they're on their own label. Which is a you know good look for them. I'm I'm very glad that they came up like that. They have their own label. They used to be on Atlantic. Um, it has been so long since they've been on the hip hop scene, but they've done a good job. Um, you know, staying low key and making minimal appearances in the Dirty South. Humdinger is a refreshing comeback for them. I feel that in my soul, in my bones. They really showcase their producing skills. Um, their album was produced by Willie Will, Paul Diaz. And even collabs with Greg Nice. Please listen up to this album, please. You can expect to hear, even expect to hear, Neo Soul artist Anthony Hamilton. Come on, anything with Anthony Hamilton is a hit. Like, you have to agree. Um, he's one of my faves. And I give their album a 4.5 out of 5. No bias. They, this is a really good album. 
good producing. I give them a four, out of, four and a half out of five for their good producing, nice follow-ups, um, collabos, lyrical content, substance, and suspense factor, you know, keeping us waiting. So, I want to give some honorable mentions before I sign off. Uh, honorable mentions, The Faint, Fascination, that's their album, Dave Hollister, Witness Protection. Key Anthony, A Hustler Story. Carrie Rodriguez, She Ain't Me. So, check those albums out. And check the artists out. And I will see you for the Underground Artist music video coming up later this week. Until then, peace out. I know, Tere, uh, you're hating, but it's fine. Stay up, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.